Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk Straight from Japan. Today we're going to do a video review of Juken Sentai Geki Ranger DX Geki Fire. Juken DX Geki Fire. At that. But that's okay. Uh, this is another Power Rangers if you haven't figured it out. But I like these things. They're very simplistic. They're meant for little kids. But for some odd reason I really enjoy this because they put a lot of effort into this. Bandai is really good about this. These toys are expensive no doubt. <laughs> they cost about 60 bucks, but hey, I get them used at the uh, at that store, hard off, get, or book off. So this one cost me 1,500 yen, so I thought it was really amazing. It's really good looking. Now, let me get this. Uh, as you can see, there's three different um, animals that we can look at. Just want to show you the box real quick. There it is. Geki DX. And I get the Geki Gazelle. Yeah, they're all called Geki. And look, I don't know too much about the Sentai Power Rangers and all that. So this is the box right here. Hey, you can get a lot of look, neat looking things. The uh, top one over here, they got, a, wow, you got like, yeah, that's uh, that's what he's going to look like when he's all merged. But you get different animals over here. You got like a mastodon, some weird bat, geki bato, geki elephant, elephanto, <laughs> geki shark, shark. Uh, yeah, I know it's been romanized, but they have neat little weapons like this little geki penguin. He has a skateboard and he can attach the little geki uh, I call it an Ibex Basic Gazelle, and the little robot gorilla has neat little functions, and I definitely want to show you that. And all three of them merge into form this big Geki Fire, and he's awesome. His arms swing around to and fro. Let me show you what else uh, we got here. Geki Gorilla, Geki Penguin, Geki Gazelle. Yeah, he looks awesome. There's the front of the box. Yeah, other things, so you can, you can kind of see that's the side of the box. So enough about that. Let's start with the big dudes here. There are three animals if you haven't figured it out. <laughs> Keep saying that. Of course you figured it out. You got a gorilla, you got a penguin, and you got a gazelle. I call it an ibex. I like his pointy little, what do you call that? Horns, of course. <laughs> Alright, let's focus on the gorilla first. Let's take the uh, two other, don't worry, we'll get back to them. So fret not. The gorilla is awesome, I think. He's a... Uh, He's a rather tall gorilla, so just to show him his size comparison, he's slightly taller than a six inch figure right here. That is she spawn, so you can pretty much tell, oh, well, about seven inches, something like that. But look at the girth on that boar. <laughs> I thought I'd never say that before. Anyways, big, big gorilla. I want to show you the articulation. He has a little chest. I like the little things over here. Very vibrant red colors. I like the black. The face sculpt is pretty cool. It doesn't do much. His head could move up and down, doesn't move side to side. And all his uh, arm does is rotate 360 degrees. Uh, his individual fist doesn't do anything, it's molded in. But he does have a wrist swivel and rotate. Now, look at these vibrant colors the orange, the red, the black. It, it just does the light well. It has light piping. These wheels are for a purpose, actually. So he can do that. He's actually powered. I can do a nice neat little trick and I just want to show you. Remember those uh, jumping chihuahua dogs? Well this one has a much neater trick. See if I can do this. I'm going to set them down. There we go. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Look at them go. Alright, I'm not going to be here all day. That's all he does. So let's go ahead and turn the switch off. It takes two AA batteries. You make them look like a pimp. A few little things here. You see the detailing on them? Pretty dang awesome. So let's go next up is the little penguin. Uh, penguin, sorry. <laughs> penguin. Uh, he is kind of neat, but he goes hand in hand with the gazelle. So let's start with the gazelle first. Here's a little gazelle. He's on roller skates. <laughs> if you can believe that. Let's go ahead and zoom in there. You can take a better look at the little gazelle. Yeah, I like the horns. I like piping on the horns. See if you can capture that. Great detailing. I like the blue, the black, face details. The head is kind of loose on this one. The legs move, but that's it. It has little roller skates on the bottom, a uh, hinge, and yeah. So he, he roller skates. Seriously, that's what he does. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. I'm going to transform him because he's going to actually become a little sled for the little penguin. So let me go ahead, and all we're going to do is move his front paws up. Move his back paws 270, uh, no, 180 degrees up, and good. Now he's a sled, and we'll get back to that. We'll set that to the side because you're coming back later. All right, little penguin, penguin time. He writes, "There's little penguin. Not much on the way. He has a cute little detail in yellow, black, blue here. 
the head moves up and down his arms actually rotate around and it can move up and down he has a cute little heart emblem don't know what that exactly is for and here's his little sled he's yellow yay he rolls really well and before I do one last trick with him I just want to show you and we go ahead and the little gazelle can attach to the back here yeah right up the tuckus and we can rotate around so yeah look at that <sighs> I'm sighing because you know what this is pretty darn normal for Japanese okay but enough about that neat little thing is the penguin he can fly yeah he can fly he all you have to do is hit this switch right here and hopefully I don't lose him because I'm on the second floor and BAM look at that he flew awesome all right let's go ahead and transform him because you want to see the big main man himself right first let's start off with the feet this is going to be the left foot, right foot, whatever foot it is. Oh yeah, we're pretty much done anyway, so all we have to do is flip the right legs over here. Or the legs. There we go. Okay, there we go. They just have to match up like that. So from here, just rotate this leg up and this leg down. Voila. And his, the little gazelle now forms the, I forget whatever, like right, right left, I don't know. <laughs> I'm bad with... Uh, that's all right. Now we're going to form the pinion lid. All I have to do is take his little skateboard, flip it into two here. Take this because that's going to become a helmet for old boy. And the penguin actually just flip his wings down like that. And take the leg out here. And make sure you also flip this portion up just like that. Okay, see these tabs right here? There's little holes right here for the penguin. Just tab it in. Make sure, there we go. They connect like that. And that forms the right, left foot, or whatever foot it is. Oh yeah, push his feet up. Okay, looking good, looking good. And of course, the big mean dude over here. He kind of told that he was going to be the main, the main guy. Take his little shields here, pop them on the sides. Breast shield or whatever the heck these things are. Pop them on the side of his arms. Okay. His head folds back to reveal that. His chest splits open and it's a beautiful looking fire emblem. And look at the light piping on that. Absolutely beautiful. I like the face here. It just looks good. His little roller skate thing. Yeah, he can roller skate too. But guess what? Just fold them down. Now, all you have to do... You see these slots right here? They pop in right here. Bam. And one more time. Bam. Look how awesome that is. Oh, but we're not done yet. He gets a little cool looking helmet. Oh, yeah. I forgot, man. He's tall. Yo, he's a tall boy. I'm not going to lie to you. There we go. Let me scoot back here so y'all can see better. Scoot, 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 scoot. Yeah, that's awesome. Big, big dude here. Yeah. Uh, let me see how tall this guy is. Oh, uh, one thing is we're going to put his helmet on right now. And it just pops in right here. And look at that. How cool is that? Just absolutely awesome. Let's see how tall this bad boy is. Got my trusty little... It's over 12 inches. 12 inches with the little spike on the top there. So, look, here we go. For size comparison, there's she spawn again. Looking rather primitive. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What can I say? Oh! And, just for a nice little feature, his arms move again. Oops. Yeah, and as you can see, the disc spin there. So, he has pretty cool looking features. Alright, that's all I got, YouTubers. And i catch you all next time.